Hi, this is Mark Strothwolf with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a weekly fire weather briefing created on Monday, July 14th, 2014. The weather pattern for the upcoming week is not one that jumps out as being very threatening for fire weather-wise, but there are some subtleties that are worth mentioning that could pose a concern. We have a strong ridge overhead today that has been suppressing the convection the past couple of days and will do so again through most of today, except over the south where some thunderstorms are expected. This ridge will get pushed southward tonight by an incoming weak trough from the northwest. Moisture that has pulled over northern Nevada is expected to get channeled eastward across northern Utah tonight into early Tuesday ahead of this trough could be just enough instability to spark some convection in the form of dry thunderstorms over zone 478, especially over the northwest portion. Northwest winds gusting into the 20s will likely follow on Tuesday across northwest Utah. As I mentioned already, there are no eye-popping fire weather concerns this week, but want to indicate that we should see a couple, maybe even three days, of drier conditions across central and northern portions of Utah in which RH values should lower below 15% in the valleys and below 25% in the mountains. Although this is not anything extreme, it will promote more drying of the fuels. I'm not going to get detailed here as computer models are not in sync, but at least it's worth mentioning that we may see elevated winds and lower RHs next weekend, Sunday in particular, across portions of the forecast areas models are hinting at a trough over the, over the Pacific Northwest and a dry southwest flow across Utah. This may only be one day event or it could be a few days. Time will tell. The highest confidence this week is that there will not be an extended or strong monsoon surge. Under a northwest flow from Tuesday through Thursday, will, this will cut off any supply of moisture from the monsoon moisture pooled over Arizona and Old Mexico. This will result in dry conditions across the northern half of the state. The weather pattern shifts this weekend as a trough is forecast to move into Pacific Northwest, allowing a dry southwest flow to develop across the Great Basin. How long this stays in place and how strong winds will become are questionable as models are, are in disagreement, lending to medium confidence in this forecast. The lowest confidence comes tonight into Tuesday across the northwest corner of the state as that weak boundary is, is expected to set off some convection but whether it's dry or not is questionable. Taking a look at the weather pattern for this week, we'll start off with a ridge overhead, but a weak trough will move over the northern Rockies tonight and an associated cold front will move into northern Utah late tonight into Tuesday. Thunderstorms will develop along the front and there is a good chance that some of these storms will be dry over, over the extreme northwest portion of zone 478. By midweek, a drier northwest flow will prevail across the region with the driest conditions expected over northern Utah with perhaps some residual moisture still hanging out over the southern portions of the state for isolated thunderstorms. The ridge recenters over New Mexico by late in the weekend as a trough settles into the Pacific Northwest. The flow over Utah is expected to become southwesterly, which will import dry air in across the region. Along with the dry air mass, winds are expected to increase and be elevated across most of the region, but mainly over the western valleys. However, being day seven of the forecast, confidence is low. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email to the email address on the screen. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.